Hey everyone, it's Adam Mishan here, singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. So I recently had a student ask me, what can I do to work out my voice or warm up my voice if I don't have a piano, if I don't have a keyboard, if I don't have an MP3 player? What are some exercises I can do to be able to warm up my voice and actually work out my voice to be able to improve it? Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. Well, the first thing that I would definitely recommend everybody do if they're not around a piano or don't have scales that they can work from is to just do freehand slides. So slides are essentially moving from one pitch slowly to another pitch. So we could do random slides like So we're moving from an undefined pitch to another undefined pitch. This is good when you don't have a piano around because you can just slide around and it doesn't really matter your starting point or your end point. It's all about moving slowly from one pitch to another. Now the main pitfalls with slides for most people, number one, moving too quickly from the note you're starting on to the note you're ending on. So a lot of people will go and they'll get a jump from one to the other. Things to watch out with this is that a lot of people, when they think of slowing down the slide, especially when I'm in a lesson, and I'm telling them slow down that slide. What they'll do is they'll just hold out the bottom note for longer and hold out the top note for longer, but not actually extend that middle range. So what you'll hear is and they'll hold it out or And they're like, did I slow it down? No, no, you didn't. We want to slow the in-between place between those two notes. The reason why slides are so beneficial for the voice is because the voice makes small incremental shifts to be able to make the adjustments that they need on every single pitch within every single note. As well, it helps you to identify any spots where your voice might be going awry. So if we go, ah. and your voice is cracking right at that point, you can then try to hone in on that specific spot and fix it. So one of the best ways to get over the issue of not making that transition gentle and gradual from one note to the other is to actually think of yourself as an ambulance siren. <coughs> If you think of an ambulance siren, you'll very easily be able to find that gradual movement from one note to the other, because that's essentially what a siren is. It's moving gradually from one note to another. Another way to think about it is if you remember when you were a kid and you were watching the coyote and the roadrunner, when the coyote would walk off the cliff and then realize that he was standing in midair, he would then go, right? So then he would hit the bottom. And so that drop is a glissando or a slide from one note to the other. So let's go through a slide workout routine right now together. I've got some exciting news for you. I've been hard at work building a six part video series that's absolutely free, teaching you exactly what it takes to build a confident and strong singing voice. So if you're interested in getting early access to these videos, please click the link down below to join the early bird waitlist. The first thing that I would do, and you don't have to stick with the pitches that I'm hitting, you can go within your comfortable range, but the first thing I would do is the puffy cheeks. So we're gonna puff it out our cheeks. Try to move through your whole range with that. So right there, I notice a few crinkles in the sound. So what I want to do is undo those crinkles. And I think part of it is a little bit of phlegm. It is early in the morning for me. So that <laughs> I'm getting some morning voice right now. So we've got to kind of work through that, but let's do it again. Really think of moving slowly through your range. Once you've done that two or three times, then we can do what I like to call the hills. 
Ooh. So what we're doing is actually doing some quick slides from one note to another and then stopping, dropping a little bit and then scooping up again. So it's kind of like scoops. And this really helps with finding a lot of release in your higher notes. So the more you're able to find that nice clean glissando up into your higher range, the easier that part of your range will become. Once we're done doing that, we can do the opposite way in a glissando slide down. And again. And again. Good. Now we're going to try with the lip roll. So lip roll again from bottom to top. And again. Keep it nice and slow. Another thing this helps with is extending your breath management so that you're able to manage the breath that you take in for longer. The longer you hold out that slide, the better your breath management is. Last one. Now let's do the hills. Again. Another thing that this helps with is engaging your support. So what you'll notice is every time you do a hill, you're going to feel your support squeeze, your lower abs, your pelvic floor, and your lower back. And now let's do some top down slides. Now let's get even closer to singing with an NG sound. So we're going to do a NG at the, as in the end of sing, sing, and then we're going to hold that and slide through our range. And they're noticing a little bit of a crack on the way down. So what we want to do is slow that down. And by slowly going over that crack over and over and over again, I'm slowly smoothing it out. So let's do that again. And again, we slowly smooth that out. So you might find that you're breaking or cracking in different areas. Try to slowly go through it and smoothen that out. Next, what we're going to do is open the mouth and we're going to do an en, oh, as in a French O-N. En, oh, en. Oh. This is an extension of the NG. It's moving to an open mouth situation, but with the back of the tongue rising in the back of the mouth and the soft palate dropping down. So what we're going to do is that en, oh, on a slide. Oh. Now my voice is cracking a little bit on the way down. So what I want to do is do it quieter. We're going to go. Oh. And so there we're finding that slow gentle adjustment that we want to make. Now let's try with the hills. Oh, 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 oh. 
small. So we slowly want to engage our lower abs to be able to find those hills as we do it. So that is a good example of a basic workout routine when it comes to slides. You don't have to stick with exactly what I did. You can always throw in any exercise that you enjoy into that mix. If you benefited from this video, please hit the like button down below. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and lets me know that you like videos like this. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out that one. Right there, you see it? It's there. Click it.